um, you know, the he, one Westers love to use this book right here. The uh, Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. Now, I've got kind of the real version, the much larger Zondervan's Pictorial Bible Dictionary, but might get to that later. But since they use that, because the reason why they like it is because they go to it to uh, try to prove that they are not Hamites or something. That's the main reason why they like it. And that whole entry actually comes out of a kind of a racist background, ironically enough. The the entry uh, under, um, what is it? You know, I forget. The, now I just forgot. Is it Hamites or whatever the entry is? But but the whole like reason why it says not the progenitor of the Negroes or whatever uh, comes out of a misunderstanding by whoever wrote the entry. All right, I'm so glad vocab brought out the um, hemetic doctrine because I've been wanting to bring it out for a while. But um, anyways, this is um, a screenshot that I um, snagged from um, G-Man when I think he was approaching um, GMS or one of those camps. And, um, and I was, and you know, I was trying to get um, G-Man to ask a few questions, you know, on this particular video. And if you see three down, mystery versus mystery, That profile is basically promoting what they call British Israelism. And um and G Man, he pretty much knows um this profile. Well, I gotta think that he knows it because that profile and the other ones um call G Man, you know, a nigger and basically calls, you know, Negroes, in their words, you know, beasts of the field, or beasts of the fields, and um, if you just um, look at his Ezekiel 29 and 11 post, it says, no foot of man shall pass through it, nor foot of beast shall pass through it, neither shall it be inhabited for um, 40 years, which beast has a foot. So basically, you know, mystery versus mystery is trying to say that um, the beasts of the field are black people. But look right below mystery versus mystery. Who do you see? Vocab Malone. That's who you see. And Vocab Malone, <laughs> I basically brought out my first video on Vocab Malone. And the first video I brought out on him, there was um some guy, and I think it was that mystery versus mystery character, and he basically spammed my chat with with um uh, beast of the field doctrine, and um and it was ridiculous. It was I mean he just spammed so much, and um anyways, but. Vocab Malone was right there. And Vocab Malone was in the chat. I mean, he was um, on my message board when I brought out a video on him. And he saw that same guy. But the interesting thing is, G-Man is a part of his shield squad. And he sees that mystery versus mystery guy, you know, making comments about niggas and beasts of the fields being Negroes. And he absolutely does nothing, says nothing to refute that guy at all. While one of his brothers in Christ are out there putting in the work, well, he thinks he put, he's putting in the work. Meanwhile, Vocab Malone is supposed to be holding down the chat, and he didn't. And by him bringing out that uh, the hermetic, um, Definition in the Zondervan um, Bible Dictionary has a racist agenda. I'm glad he did that because 
I was I would I had been trying to make time to call vocab out on this, but he just saved me the hassle by addressing it. So, you know, that's kind of congratulations to him for that. But um, so now you know, I I give him a pass on not really commenting because he brought it out eventually. But um, let's see what what um. What kind of racist agenda, you know, modern day scholars, how they put Ham. Because Ham is basically one of Noah's three sons. And it's known, you know, and Ham is, the land of Ham is basically Africa, which, you know, is predominantly black people. So when they say that Ham is basically. Uh, a light skin type race of people. Where does it leave the Negro? Because if the Negro isn't Shem, the Negro, and I say Negro because you know that means black. I took French and and then French is Negro. You know what I mean? Or not Negro? That's Spanish. But in French is Noir. But anyways, you know that's just a term. That means black, which I don't think we're black anyways, but, you know, that's just something that um, certain people use. And it kind of blew me away the other day when um, a particular guy from another company was working with the company I work for. You know, we're doing a job together and um, he was pretty much a super. And. We were having a conversation and he was like, yeah, those white boys and those colored boys. And he caught himself. I'm like, dang, this guy just said colored boys. <laughs> Anyways, but um, that that's the only reason why I use the word Negro. But um, so if black people aren't hermetic and black people aren't Shem or Japheth, then you pretty much got to think that that mystery versus mystery guy or girl knows what they really think black people are. And the and the Constitution basically, or the, mem the amendment to the Constitution basically says that blacks are three-fifths human. So if you're three-fifths humans, the two-fifths that isn't human would have to be something. So let's dig into it and find out what they say the Hermetic people or who the Hermetic people are. Now this right here, now this right here just shows you how stupid and ignorant G-Man, G-Consciousness, um, Faithful, Brother J, Cherry, Raquel, just lets you know how ignorant and dumb they really are and their brother in Christ or their brother in fake Christ vocab baloney he knows this stuff but he lets them go around calling themselves Africans okay but according to the scholars the Hermetic people well let's read it we know that Noah had three sons Ham, Shem, and Japhet. Okay? So, the Hamites are basically those that populated Africa. So, let's see what they say, who they say the Hamites are. Hamites, from the biblical Ham, is a historical term in ethnology and linguistics for a division of of the Caucasian race. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Every black person in America is calling themselves African American and they're saying that, hey, we're African. But this is what they're saying. This is what the scholars are saying. Hamites is a historical term in ethnology and linguistics for a division. So that means not the whole Caucasian race, but just a division 
of the Caucasian race and the group of related languages these populations spoke. So that's not the Negro. That's not the blacks. It's only white folks that are Hamites. So Africa, even though black people were there first, they're saying that the Hamites or the sons of Noah are white. Okay? And that lines up with the British Israelisms when they say Adam was the first white man on earth. And the people that were on earth before Adam were Negroids and Mongoloids. And the Negroids and Mongoloids were beasts, considered beasts, because Negroids and Mongoloids didn't have the intelligence. They said the Negroes and the Mongoloids were beast-like. Okay, so God made Adam to reform or refine the Negroids and the Mongoloids. Let's continue. The app, the uh, appellation Hermetic was applied to the Berber. Oh, you got all those pro-black people saying they're Berber. Cushitic. Oh, and they say they're Cush and Egyptian. Oh, they say they're Egyptian and Kemetic branches of the Afro-Asiatic language family, which together with the Shemitic, Semitic branch was thus formally labeled Hamido semitic However, since the three Hamitic branches have not been shown to form an exclusive monophyletic or philo, uh, philo, philogenetic unit of their own, separate from other Afro-Asiatic languages. So, hey, we say we're Afro-American. But now we hear, we are hearing that the Afro-Asiatic languages come from white people. And if you notice, Afro, which we consider ourselves in Asiatic, are the Mongoloids. They're basically saying that the Afro and Asiatics are Caucasians. But let's listen. Let's read on. Linguists no longer use the term in this sense. Why? Because if blacks are Afro, and, and it's well known that the Negroes are Afro, and the Mongoloids are Asian, no wonder they don't use the term Afro-Asiatic languages anymore. Because that disrupts their whole ideology. Okay. Each of these branches is now instead... Or, I mean, each of these branches is instead now regarded as an independent subgroup of the larger Afro-Asiatic language. Beginning in the 19th century, scholars generally classified the Hermetic race as a subgroup of Caucasian along with the Semitic race. So the Semitic race are also Caucasian, thus grouping the non-Semitic population native to North Africa and the Horn of Africa, including the Egyptians, are Caucasian. According to the Hermetic theory, this Hermetic race was superior to or more advanced than Negroid populations of Sub-Saharan Africa. In its most extreme form in the writings of C.J. Seligman, this theory asserted that virtually all achievements in African history were the work of Hamites who had migrated into Central Africa as pastoralists, bringing new customs, languages, technologies, and administrative skills with them. So they're taking credit for the pyramids. They're taking credit for the Nile. They're taking credit for everything. Okay, so the niggas didn't do nothing. The niggas did nothing. Okay, so... Let's go down further and find out about who the Negroes are. So, for all you Kemet scholars, you black power 
idiots that are saying that you're African. Your a African doctrine is getting crushed by the Hermetic race doctrine. Okay. So let's read the Hermeticized Negroes. Selectman and early and other early scholars believe that in the African Great Lakes and part of Central Africa, invading Hamites from North Africa and the Horn of Africa had mixed with local Negro women to produce several hybrid Hematicized Negro populations. The Hematicized Negroes were divided into three groups according to language and degree of Hermetic influence. The Negro Hamites or half Hamites such as the Masa, the Nandi, and the Turkana, the, and that's Turkana, and the Nilata, such as the Shaluk and Nua, and the Bantus, such as the Hema and the Tutsi, Seligman would explain this Hermetic influence through both uh, demic diffusion and cultural transmission. At first, the Hamites, and this is sick, sick men talking, or at least their uh, aristocrat, uh, arist, aristocracy would endeavor to marry Hermetic women, but it cannot have been long before a series of peoples combined in Negro and Hermetic blood arose. These superior to the pure Negro, would be regarded as inferior to the next coming wave of Hamites and be pushed further inland to play the part of an incoming aristocracy, vice of vice, the Negroes on whom they impinged. The end result of one series of such combinations is to be seen in the Masa or the Masaic the other and the Baganda, while an even more striking result is offered by the symbiosis of the Bohema of Ancoli and the Baharu Sikh. Okay, so let's go down to the African American views. African American scholars were initially ambivalent about the hermetic hypothesis because Sergi's Sergi theory proposed that the superior Mediterranean race had originated in Africa. Some African American writers believe that they could appropriate the hermetic hypothesis to challenge claims about the superiority of white Anglo-Saxons of the Nordic race. The latter Nordic concept was promoted by certain writers such as Madison Grant, according to Yaakov Savet, this generated radical Afrocentric theory which followed the path of European racial doctrines. Writers who insisted that the Nordics were the purest representative of the Aryan race indirectly encouraged the transformation of the Hermetic race into the Black race and the resemblance it draws between the branches of Black forms in Asia. So I suggest that anybody that watches this video to do your research because now they're trying to whitewash Africa and they whitewash Africa because they don't they know that if you're in the northern part of Africa and you look like a Negro and the Jews were right there, that means they're Negro, too, because when they ran into Egypt and they and Joseph blended in and became like an Egyptian. The hermetic hypothesis makes sense. It's about whitewashing. And the only way to whitewash it is to change the hermetic people into the Caucasoid race. And Vocab Malone knows this. That's why he said the Hebrews, these guys in America calling themselves Hebrews, they're not Hebrews because he's dealing with the Hermetic Hypothesis. And that's why when I did my other video right before this one about who the Jews are, 
he doesn't feel like that's a heretic doctrine, heretical doctrine, because he's going off of the hermetic hypothesis. And it's just evident that he's going off of it because he feels like the Jews over there are the real bloodline Jews because of the hermetic hypothesis. Because if white people went to northern Africa, of course, which would be northern African, according to the hermetic hypothesis, then, of course, they blended in. And they say, OK, what's well, sub-Saharan are where the niggas were. So those poor niggers don't have a clue. And that's why he doesn't want to deal with the Jews, because he's under the hermetic hypothesis. So all you pro-blacks, all you people of Israel, there's a new doctrine out that you got to defend against. And if you can't deal with it, guess what? They're going to hematicize you as a Negro mixed with a hermetic cauc caucasoid race. And that's why you're not as savage as you would be because they put their blood in you and made you more advanced.